Hello, Shinobi, and welcome back to Sekiro Sparrows Take Flight. And in this part, we are going to talk to Slayer of Pink Shirt Wearing Men. Are you the Black Hat Badger? Uh, no, actually, you're a, no, you're a Tengu. Huh. For the for the voice actors on the Japanese cast, I think I like this character's voice the best. You shinobi are all the same. You're so short and you get killed by men who are taller than you. <laughs> I like you. So you're the reason why this game is called Sekiro. Rats. Fucking rats. Are we looking for a rat tail? Mooney, worm tail, padfoot, and prongs. We are the messers of the Marauder's Map. You, you like killing. I like killing too. <laughs> we have much in common. Rats. A short stature wear bamboo hats. We already killed one of these. We did we kill a short stature dude? Yeah. Well, rather he had a bamboo hat on. Um. Well, I mean, we killed. I would. I. I wouldn't say that was a bamboo hat. I think. If it was a bamboo hat, that means that we we use the shinobi axe of the monkey in order to take him out. Oh. Because bam no, well, no. I mean, in the last part, there was a there was a guy that we uh, uh, stealth killed before fighting the uh, before fighting uh, Gyobo. Not not that guy. Um, All because right. that guy was of regular stature, not short stature. Bamboo hats also are like wooden shields. Uh, they will block your attacks, but they can be destroyed with the shinobi axe. Okay. Okay. Now, if the game lets me go somewhere, that means there must be a point to it. Yep. You got a bead. You need two more, though. Oh, yeah, because it's a heart container. Because you need four of them. Ah, damn it. Um, so, yes, we have gotten our second heart container. We have unbarred a door that we will probably not ever use. Hello. D stupid square prompt. Yeah, but at least we'll be alive to see it now. Well, yeah, at least I'll still be able to swing my sword and either win or lose. It's supposed to end up with Mitsuhide Ta uh, Takeda. It, I, no, his name's not Takeda, but it's, it's Mitsuhide. I, I forget uh, what his uh, actual last name is. Be gone with you, soothsaying woman. Soothsayer woman, tell me the things I need to know. Uh, I was, I was trying to think of the lead. 
melody from Soothsayer by Buckethead, but I, I don't think I would have done it proper justice. That's why we stick to sticks references, because they're significantly easier to make. It's hard to, it's hard to vocalize arpeggios, because the, because the human voice does not have, like, other strings that you can skip. I mean, it kind of does, but not, not really. Right. So, uh, back to the game. We do have um, a couple, <clears throat> more than one, priority. One of which, of course, is getting rid of these rot essences, finally. Um, because it definitely is not a good thing that our Unseen A change is cut. Hey, wait a second. 15%? Wait, did the game just fuck up? Because I had no. I had two I had two rot essences and now I only have one. But we cleared the one because it was timid made and no no we got no no, the, 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 no the, the, when when you get a rot first of all the rot essence represents a person it represents yeah. it represents a character it, in the world who is re, who is being afflicted by dragon rot hey it's a loading screen these are rare yeah and the character that was that was afflicted with timid maid was Lady Butterfly no 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 that that was not the timid maid. What, no, uh, no, no, no. The two, the two don't, the two don't interrupt it because the timid maid was present during the Lady Butterfly memory. She was actually, she is still in the memory, cowering in fear that the illusions are coming to get her. Um, oh, and I finally get to cash in on the gourd seed that I got during the last part. Um, that that is very that is very weird. Okay, let's just say that for as being as vague as I can. If, at this point, because I have 15% unseen aid chance, which is only one short of the 30, because I only have one rot essence in my inventory, that if you advance the game enough, that that rot essence will actually go away of its own accord. Um, I guess because the sculptor ends up dead if you don't cure him? No, characters that are afflicted by Dragon Rod do not actually ever pass away, but they suffer. When you talk to them, they're suffering. When you see them on the ground lying prone and clutching their throat in agony, they're suffering. But all that it means is that your unseen, cha your unseen A chance is not as good as it's supposed to be. That's literally all it means. It has no other consequence on the game. But they want you to feel bad about dying so fucking often, goddammit. <laughs> Gunpowder and scrap metal. Yes, and all kinds of magic screws and brass buttons and shiny things. Yes. Oh. Brown paper parcels all wrapped up with string. I got some gunpowder. That is upgrade a large this tech thing. tree. Yeah, this is a pretty large tech tree. The tech tree that only becomes fully expounded on as you collect each and every one of the prosthetic tools. Some of these upgrades will never be available to you unless you meet the prerequisites. All right, so spinning shuriken requires three scrap metal, right? It looks like, yeah, I think scrap iron. Scrap okay. iron. I need two more. I have a thing to do now. Let's get the firecracker finally. All right. Br br briefly blinds, froze, and inflicts posture damage on beast-type enemies. Okay. There are certain bosses in this game that are beast-type. We will be running into bosses that are beast-type. I highly recommend that you use the Shinobi Firecracker on enemies that are beast-type. Alright, I'm gonna ask. Is Jormungand a beast-type enemy? I don't know who Jormungand is. Next question. Giant White Snake. Uh, no, no. Giant White Snake is not a strong enemy. I would ask if he was a beast type enemy, not if he was a strong enemy. It is neither. He is neither of those things. Oh. For all intents and purposes, Jormungand is like he's not even really a creature. He's more like he's more like an environment piece that will kill you viciously. All right. So we've we've effectively apparently gotten all the different warp points in in the Ashina Castle. So in the outskirts. Where are we all in the outskirts of Ashina Castle. We actually haven't even really gotten into Ashina Castle, is the truth, because that checkpoint that we just accessed is actually on the outskirts menu, not on the cast not on the Ashina Castle menu. Okay. Those rats that were 
exposed to us during the last part are right over here. Yeah, this guy. We still have killed this guy. Yeah, but he wasn't that he was not the rat. People talk people commiserating and spreading evil plots among us. They are the rats. Slay them. With good discretion. And environmental knowledge. You can't fucking reach onto the edge of these stupid sandy cliffs. You gotta use man-made structures, like eaves. Or gutters. Or awnings. Kill you. I hate you guys. You guys suck. I had to knock that dude out of the air before he grabbed me and then bent my spine in half. Okay. The rats are now dead. And you do have to kill the rats in order to finish the game. Okay. It's not exactly clear why, though, but yes, they are important. Well, these were the rats that were talking about uh, uh, the uh, Black Hat Badger, so I guess he's the next major uh, boss that we're going up against. Black Hat Badger is a vendor, actually. Ah. Because uh, they, they do bring up allegiance a lot in this game. You could be a member of the Ashina clan. You could be a shinobi. You could be a member of the Interior Ministry. All three of these factions are mutually exclusive. Some enemies have allegiances only unto themselves. I mean, some characters only have allegiances unto themselves. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Ah, I, I fucking love it when they pop in corpses like that. <laughs> this is where I spawn, but I'm supposed to be dead. Thank you for the health. So with attack power three, we just have the ability to one shot, uh, uh, one shot these guys in direct combat. Yes, these enemies will be noticeably weaker to your enhanced attack power. Our attack power is as high as it possibly can be right now because we take out, we already took out the two battle memory giving bosses, the Lady Butterfly and Gyobu. Because of the nature of the boss that comes immediately after Gyobu, they want your attack power to be a little higher than medium because of how many people had to fucking complain about the next part, about the next boss, whom we probably will not be seeing until the next part. Okay. Whoosh. Mmm. Well, there's a uh, sumo uh, sumo ogre. Oh, I love so, the sumo ogres. Uh, can, now, can he be a stealth death blow? Yes, you can stealth death blow anybody and anything except for certain bosses. Stealth death blow. I like to think that he's. Oh damn it! He's got a friend. Yep, and his friend was looking out for him, and he said, No, you killed my friend. I'm going to smash you. Except he's effectively reset already. No, 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 he's, he's, still, he's still trying to follow us. He just walks really, really slowly. Because if this guy starts running, he's going to get tired. Ah, beautiful son. Scrap Yay, iron. another scrap iron. Yep. Need one more. Get two more. You have yourself a cocktail. <laughs> hey, that's the silver grass field. I know where I am. That's where Genichiro cut my arm off. Come on, get the stealth that blow fat. He's got his back to you. No, he's turning. Okay, get him. Get him. Get that and sweet ass. Yeah. Stabby stab. Alright, and in the next episode, we will continue on attempting to get into Ashina Castle.